Key topics this year at the State House looks to be medical marijuana and whether to legalize it. News 8's Randall Newsom spoke with a veteran who's making a case for legislators to say yes to the changes. Randall, good morning. Good morning. I spoke to a veteran who's advocating for medical marijuana because she believes a product with a similar ingredient helps save her from the worst pain of her life. Mary Warner served her country proudly with a smile on her face. That was until that life of service was interrupted in 2014 by a car wreck. Within about six weeks, I learned that I had a back injury that could not be treated. Nothing seemed to work, and the pain brought other things with it. The end of September of 2015, I was discharged from the United States Air Force, and that ended my military career. I can never go back. And one of the biggest ones that my case was depression and anxiety. Desperate for relief, she was introduced to something different, CBD oil. Its main ingredient, cannabis, also found in marijuana. And I realized for the first time in about three years, I was pain free. I cried. She calls it a natural way to treat what other prescription drugs can't. In her beehive company shop, she uses M&Ms to illustrate the impact. To sleep, to function, this was me. A year and a half ago, this is me today. And she says she's helped many feel that same relief. I can tell you that there have been a lot of tears shed in this building. Now, as lawmakers consider a bill to make medical marijuana legal, she wants to change the stigma of what some call the gateway drug. It's a gateway to having a normal life. It's a and before a decision is made, she has one request. Say, give us a chance. You know, give us that opportunity to explore this, to have this as an option. Now, medical experts and lawmakers are still on the fence about this and what the limit should be, but Mary says when it comes to helping people, the possibilities are endless. Back to you guys. Randall, thank you. Also at the